is Bitcoin safe to invest in? Investors are more interested than ever in cryptocurrency. Criminals are too. Reports of cryptocurrency crimes have increased 312% per year on average since 2016. These crimes can include everything from hackers stealing investors' coins to people falling for scams related to crypto investing. Bitcoin has the most crime reports of any cryptocurrency, which makes sense since it's also the oldest and most widely held crypto. Beyond digital crimes, Bitcoin's safety as an investment is often questioned thanks to the frequency and scale of its value fluctuations. Despite an increase in fraud and theft, many experts tout the safety of Bitcoin investments, at least in terms of cybersecurity if not investment stability. So, is investing in Bitcoin safe? Here's what you need to know about Bitcoin safety as an asset and keeping your cryptocurrency secure if you invest. What to consider before buying Bitcoin? First things first. The money you put into Bitcoin is not safe from value fluctuations. Bitcoin is a volatile investment. If you're looking for a safe investment with guaranteed returns, then don't invest in Bitcoin. Experts recommend keeping any cryptocurrency investments to less than 5% of your portfolio for exactly that reason, and to make sure you've got a solid conventional retirement investment plan in the first place. It's also recommended you have an emergency fund and pay down any high-interest debts before you put any money into Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. What are the risks associated with Bitcoin? The biggest security concern for many people when it comes to Bitcoin investing, like any other digital activity, is the risk of hacking and fraud. Cryptocurrency crimes are on the rise, according to data from the Federal Trade Commission, and resulted in a median loss of $1,900 per report between October 2020 and March 2021. Often, reported crypto crimes involve scammers requesting payment in cryptocurrency, or sending unsolicited offers to help you make money or increase your holdings, according to the FTC. You should also avoid any unsolicited offers related to crypto. Do your own research and buy your coins yourself using a reputable crypto exchange. Other types of scams to look out for. Initial coin offerings, ICO for fake cryptocurrencies. When a cryptocurrency is offered to investors before it's launched to the market, it's called an ICO, similar to a new stock's IPO. But sometimes these new coin offerings can be fabricated, leading investors to put their money in a cryptocurrency that doesn't actually exist. Always research any cryptocurrency before you invest. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Read the project's white paper and check out the founders as part of your research. For most investors, and especially beginners, it's smart to stick to established, popular coins like Bitcoin or Ethereum. Crypto Pump and Dump Schemes A small group of investors may pump a lot of money into a specific crypto, falsely inflating the price while convincing private investors to also invest. Then the original investors sell their shares for a profit before the price falls again. This type of scheme exists for more traditional investments too. Again, if an investment seems too good to be true, it probably is. Watch out for coins that have risen a lot in value without any clear reason why. How to keep your Bitcoin safe Hackers can gain access to individuals' crypto wallets or breach entire cryptocurrency exchanges to steal their holdings. That's why it's essential to store your crypto in a safe place and practice good digital security habits. Cryptocurrency exchanges and third parties offer storage for your coins through hot wallets, which are secure but still online and therefore still susceptible to hacking. Crypto held on an exchange or in a wallet is not insured like money in the bank. Make sure you trade and hold your crypto on a platform that offers robust security measures including keeping a significant amount of holdings in its own cold storage and two-factor authentication for users. Some exchanges may even have private insurance policies in case of theft or hacking. For the best protection against online fraud, many experts recommend cold storage through an offline device not connected to the internet, similar to a USB drive. But even cold storage comes with risks, like the possibility of losing access to your investment completely if you forget your password. Bitcoin Security versus privacy. While you can take measures to secure your crypto holdings from hacking and theft, Bitcoin may not be any more effective at keeping your personal information private than any other traditional investment. Security and privacy are two separate topics, says Kaina Daniel, author of Cryptocurrency Investing for Dummies. While trades you make in Bitcoin may be harder to trace than credit card purchases or direct bank withdrawals, Bitcoin transactions are not private. 
Bitcoin trades are tied to a hash code, a string of letters and numbers. While your activity isn't directly tied to personal details like your social security number, the blockchain is public and there are ways that people can identify you. The day-to-day -day average Joe can't go in and see what transactions are happening in the Bitcoin blockchain. If you want total privacy when you transact, then neither Bitcoin nor Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, are for you. Other smaller cryptocurrencies are designed for this total privacy, though experts recommend avoiding these lesser-known cryptos as an investment. Is Bitcoin bad for the environment? The digital currency uses as much power as the Netherlands every year. Computers that mine Bitcoin use up to 1% of the world's electricity supply. While some of Bitcoin's consumption is renewable, an estimated 39%. Fossil fuels are still being used to power the mining and servicing of the digital currency. This is why electric car manufacturer Tesla has stopped accepting crypto payments, causing Bitcoin to fall. China's Crypto Ban Trading cryptocurrency in China has been illegal since 2019 in what Beijing says is an attempt to stop money laundering. People could still trade online however on foreign exchanges. At the end of September 2021, China's central bank went a step further by banning Bitcoin transactions and basically making cryptocurrency illegal. The central bank warned that cryptocurrency seriously endangers the safety of people's assets, which knocked thousands of dollars off the price of Bitcoin. But it is not all bad news for Bitcoin, investors especially the earliest ones have become millionaires. Bitcoin has seen meteoric growth in recent years. In May 2016, you could buy one Bitcoin for about $500. As of May 2022, a single Bitcoin was worth around $30,000. That's a growth of nearly 6,000%. Some analysts believe the price of Bitcoin could rise even further as cryptocurrency and blockchain technology become a bigger part of people's daily lives. Supporters talk about it becoming the global currency of the future. So you might be saying to yourself, I want to be a part of this financial revolution. How do you buy Bitcoin? Follow the link in the description to sign up to eToro, which is a safe and secure platform to purchase Bitcoin. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos and leave a comment about your thoughts on is Bitcoin safe to invest in. See you on the next video, have a great day. Bye-bye.